Do let's kick this thing off for my funny man Tim Mackey. Come on, out, Timmy. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Sorry, I'm a little taller than that. <laughs> uh, so I'm a CCS here, so uh, obviously. Uh, you guys know this is going to be monitored reporting for quality assurance purposes. <laughs> and I'm going to need each and every one of the last four of your socials. So, I, uh, I do that at home now, too. Uh, I called my dad the other day, and uh, he was like, Oh, Tim, you know, something's wrong with your mom. She's in the hospital. I'm like, Whoa, whoa, slow your roll there, guy. <laughs> this is being monitored and recorded. I need your full social. <laughs> I think, the, I think the worst part of the disclosure is the NMLS ID, because it is impossible to say. I, uh, I slurred at this point, just NMLS, just to get it out there. <laughs> and I, I know that I slurred because I work a lot of Southern loans, so uh, you know I tell to the guy, and then he goes, uh, I'm sorry, son, you say that was your animal ass ID? <laughs> no, no, sir. So, Surprisingly, we're not given special identification numbers from the bottoms of woodland creatures. But that is what I tell people to make my job sound more interesting. So there, uh, there will be a survey after these jokes. Uh, if you don't know, a one through an eight is a fail. And, uh, nine to ten is a pass. No, I can't. I can't tell you to give me a ten. But I swear to God, if anybody puts an eight. <laughs> and it's, it is hands down the worst number to get. If I get a one, I know everything went wrong. I know this guy, like, his wife cheated on him with the appraiser. And, uh, they both died in the fire of the same house. And, you know, the closer was like a uh, neo Nazi. He was the only one that could get it the last minute. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, I get it. I, I, I get that one, you know, like, he had a bad experience, needed to take the survey, anyway, that's fine. <laughs> but an eight is like, it's like they think they're doing an Amazon review of a toaster. <laughs> like, they're just like, oh my gosh, it closed in ten days. And I had to provide no extra paperwork, closing took ten minutes. But, uh... That parking space. <laughs> a little far away from the bank. <laughs> hey, 8 out of 10, guys. Try, try again next year. But uh, let's get over to the uh, John Trope Culture Council. <laughs> they, set up, uh, they set up this whole week, and uh, also tonight, and uh, we got ice cream the other day. I'm sure they did other things. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I really liked the zoo a few months ago. That was great. Um, you guys probably didn't see me there because my family got lost. <laughs> we got back to the pavilion, I believe, at 2.05 on the dot. I know it was because I checked my watch. And uh, if you remember, they were not letting anybody in after 2. And when I say they were not letting people in, they refused to let us in. They, they were still hard and fast about that rule, which I wouldn't have minded, except uh, just they didn't care about anything else. There were kids chasing around peacocks with sticks, like they were going to kill them and eat them. No, no one said shit to these kids. I go to the pavilion, they're like, oh, kids will be kids. Hey, hey, back up. It's 205. You're coming late to get a hot dog. So I'm, so I'm sorry to say, Downers Grove Culture Council, 8 out of 10. <laughs> I was going to limp to show this next joke. I'm limping a little bit, but I didn't walk very much, so you guys didn't see. So pretend I was limping. <laughs> you guys might notice I'm limping. <laughs> Uh, I had a minor foot surgery the other day, and um, you know I'm, I'm fine. It's whatever. The surgery I didn't mind so much, but the uh, making the appointment was was absolute murder. I love when you're at the doctor trying to make an appointment, and they always ask you what works for you first, as if there's any 
possibility reality that they will have that date available. <laughs> I'm like, Tuesday at like 2 p.m., and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, the doctor dies every day from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m.? <laughs> And then there's a big resurrection ceremony. <laughs> Could you do maybe Halloween next year at like 4 a.m.? Oh no? Oh, well, good luck with you and your weird foot then. <laughs> you might notice I'm checking my phone. Um, that's because I'm a millennial and I have to do that. <laughs> like every, every five minutes. calling me shit? I, I honestly don't know. Yeah. I don't care, as long as those $10 checks keep rolling in. <laughs> but I mean, come on, Grandma, don't you know the cool way to pay is Chase Quick Pay? How <laughs> <Powered> by Zell? <laughs> Chase Quick Pay is now powered by Zell. I don't know what Gazelle or Zell is. I know it's short for Gazelle. So I assume just gazelle after gazelle is thrown into the incinerator of Jimmy Diamond's office uh, as, uh, the online banking wizards. I don't, I don't know. Online banking wizards powered by gazelle carcasses. That is my understanding of our industry. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I am, uh, I am a millennial, but, uh, and I do understand the, the irony of being a millennial in the mortgage industry because I will never own a home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be renting until the day I die. <laughs> There's no, no amount of fun Pinterest ads. It's, it's going to change the fact I can barely get board socks. <laughs> Uh, the one, the one millennial thing I don't do is uh, is text and drive. Uh, huge thing with with my people. Um, <laughs> care about crowd people, but um, the you know the, uh, when I am driving down the road in an automobile at least two tons at seventy miles an hour, I'm not texting my friends. That's my online banking time. <laughs> How would I sell? <laughs> I, I apologize, I know I use the M word, no, I'm sorry, the millennial word. Anyway, the, the M word, too, too much, and uh, it's because it's such a fun, um, you know, buzzword in today's world. Um, it's just, I always see these news articles where they're really confused about how millennials are, and the way they act, and what's going on, and uh, it's just like, millennials are buying diamonds, and uh, millennials are buying any houses, and millennials are freebasing Twitter, and your children are next. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just, we're just all really, really poor, just all the time. People just, their minds just belong to, like, you just don't have money, but why? <laughs> uh, I'm personally incredibly poor. Um, I am so poor, I feel sympathy for um, muggers that ever try to, like, attack me, because, I mean... You know, <laughs> mugging, I think, takes a lot of, like, mental and physical preparation to, like, go up someone and mug them, and, like, after all that work, they're gonna come up to me, like, the guy with ten dollars in his wallet and an overdrawn checking account, like, <laughs> powered by cell. <laughs> I've, I've never yet been mugged, but, uh, yet. But uh, I was once punched in the face on the hill. <laughs> I remember it vividly. Uh, I was just sitting down, listening to music, and uh, you know the guy like comes a little bit closer, walks a little, walks up to me, and uh, he's kind of mumbling himself, like oh, yeah. just kind of ignore him, look the other way. It's a little bit closer, still trying to ignore him. He's really close up next to me, so I take off my headphones, and then he yells, "It's not your birthday!" and punches me. <laughs> I had, I had a black eye for two whole weeks, but you know, honestly, I had it coming because it was super not my birthday. <laughs> but, uh, so they told me, uh, there's a number you call, 311, next time you're on the L, you see this guy, 
uh, don't let Drain your eye, they'll come and they'll arrest the guy. So now I run the elk constantly. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day that they, I see the guy, they go up and arrest him, and then I go, uh, you know, wearing, of course, a birthday hat. <laughs> and she'll take it away. Look whose birthday it's not now, bitch! <laughs> Which admittedly is not a good line. If you guys have a better one, let me know. Stop my desk, I'm right there. But, um, yeah, you know, the only thing that I just keep thinking about is, what if it was my birthday? You know, can you imagine how much worse that would have been? Just like, <laughs> just getting decked out. It's not your birthday. I'm crouching the ground like, yes, it is. <laughs> all right, that's all the time I have. Thank you very much. Let's give up for two. Wow, oh, that was awesome. He's a funny guy. Next up.